Nice. One minute. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let me thank uh, Mr. Conyers for your leadership and for yielding, and also to Chairman Sensenbrenner and to uh, Congressman, our chair of the Black Caucus, uh, Mel Watt, for uh, your leadership in ensuring that the reauthorization of the Voting Rights Act did not become a Democratic or Republican issue, but an American issue. The right to vote is the heart and soul of our democracy. And I vividly remember the days of Jim Crow and segregation, the poll tax, the humiliation and the degradation of African Americans not so long ago. The Voting Rights Act of 1965 passed just one year after I graduated from high school. And while much progress has been made, voter suppression and voter intimidation continues. There's no way that I would be standing here on this floor as a member of Congress had it not been for the bloodshed and the sacrifices and the deaths of so many, including our own great warrior, Congressman John Lewis, in fighting for the right of all Americans to vote. So in the spirit and memory of Fannie Lou Hamer and Rosa Parks and Coretta Scott King, let's pass this bipartisan legislation without any amendments so that America can be true to its ideal of liberty and justice for all. Today, let us let the world know that we do practice what we preach and that we stand for democracy here at home. And I want to thank Congressman Conyers, Watt, and Sensenbrenner again for making this an American issue. Gentleman from Wisconsin. Mr. Chairman, I yield two and a half minutes to the gentleman from Georgia, Mr. Deal. Gentleman is recognized.